by the end of this video you will be able to use your iphone or ipad whichever is in icloud logged condition activation log whatever you say in the latest software ios 13.3 and it will work on all later ios as well hopefully on all iphone models as well as the new ones like the iphone 10r 10s max 10s uh, 11 11 pro max everything so there is uh, there is a trick for this and which i have discovered so please watch the video till the end to understand and hopefully those who are complaining that it was not working on the newer iphone or on the newer ios it should work so please uh, watch the video till the end to understand so the activation log page says this iphone is linked to an apple id enter the apple id and password that were used to set up this iphone the password is required to activate this device because its owner has find used find my iphone to link it to their apple id so basically what might have happened is uh, the iphone was reset without switching off the find my iphone hold the side button and this option will pop up click on wi-fi settings and you'll be here and you can see the i button so you'll get to the screen scroll down and you can see many options are there so what option we need is the configure ip so you can see the client id don't mess up with the automatic manual and boot ip just uh, enter the text or the special character that i'm going to show you into the client id section so make sure whatever you're typing in this is exactly the same that you're seeing on the screen i will also put the entire code in the description uh, and you can just check thing remember that there is a space after footer before http method and also a space after post close inverted commas and before url so keep these in mind and um, the thing that i'm typing after http uh, 104.155.220.58 this code will differ from one country to another so make sure you type in the correct code according to your country so if you have any issues if you have don't know what to type here in in that place so you can comment down i will uh, reply to you so when we are done with the entire code just select all of it just all of it and copy it we will paste this in the apple id section in the activation log screen so save it and you can see the client id is shown over here so when you see that so it's done so now just uh, continue and let's uh, go to the activation lock screen okay so now when we are in the activation lock screen you can see the apple id so we have to paste that thing over here apple id section in the apple id field but we see that it's not getting pasted so so we are going back to the Wi-Fi settings and into our network and we see the client ID over here it's still there we can copy it from here also and let's try once again mm, no it's not working the paste option has been removed by Apple most probably in the Apple ID section so nothing and it cannot be pasted so that's a big problem for us right now but don't worry uh, keep watching the video as you can see in this keyboard the apple id keyboard has also been changed the symbol that you can see in here in the password section is uh, we have all the symbols here but in the apple id section we don't have the symbols over here that we need actually so we need the uh, the full keyboard in the apple id section so that's our requirement right now so what we can do is that we can go to some other keyboards of some different language and see if we have got so as you can see we have got all the symbols in this language so you need to keep checking the other language keyboards in which you see that all the symbols are there we will use that for the symbols only okay as you can see that in english keyboard we don't have those things so we need to see other languages and see which language in this language we don't have that so we'll use this one only for the symbols that we need okay so we need we have all the symbols that we need for the client id code okay now we'll use the symbols that we need from this language 
and go back to english language for the text so we'll keep on doing like this and until we have our entire apple id that uh, that client id code written over here okay we are doing we are writing this again just because we are unable to paste it over here most probably you'll also face the same thing in latest ios versions and later models so please uh, follow my instruction so um, i have found out this method so this uh, actually worked so uh, keep watching the video and see so as you can see we are uh, continuously swapping the keyboards as according to our requirements Once you are done with the Apple ID section, I have written the entire client ID code. Now we'll go to the password section and you have to press a space, a space only, okay, at the password and then press next. Okay, unable to active, activate. I'm quite sure I've done some, a mistake. Yeah, I realized that uh, I have not put the slash, the forward slash in the beginning of the code. Uh, if you can um, see i've done that wrong if you can just skip back and just see i've done that wrong uh, i'll just write it again okay I'm j i'll just fast forward this so it doesn't get boring for you So I'll just select all and copy it. There's no reason for it, but still I'll just select all and copy just like that. And as I said, you have to go to the password section and press a space and then press next. Now, as you can see that we have gone to the page where it says IDNS portal. So in the Apple ID section, you have to give your nickname, anything. It doesn't even matter if you give anything or not, but still you can give something that you want to call yourself in the server. So and in the password section, it's again a space itself. Notice that this time we need to press the IDNS portal and not the next. So press the IDNS portal and you will be get you will be getting into the server. Now you can see this. Uh, we have gone to the server. Now we'll press menu and go to this. And now I will tell you the advantages of using this. Okay, it's different from other ones. Although it looks the same as the old bypass method but this different let's see for for example let's use this app this will let you take uh, maybe a photo and as well as let you use the mobile flash the mobile flash okay so i guess there's a cool feature and all okay this wasn't there in the previous uh, captive portal so <clears throat> and we'll move on to the next ones and as usual you can go to the social sites like facebook and uh, google anything twitter etc so you'll get a ui like this by looking at this you won't be able to understand whether it's logged or not so though uh, the user interface has been changed in this portal so i'll go to the next one like the applications the application will have the same ones as we have uh, as it was there in the previous captive portal so in this you can use the crash and all and you have uh, important uh, applications like evernote i use evernote so it's good for me and the calculator the google drive idns hacks and all and you have few games as well and and the audio streaming uh, apps so you can uh, go through all these things and one more thing that you have the uh, internet connectivity on the bottom right corner you can go to any site over here i'll tell you what's the cool thing about this so uh, we went to google right you search anything that doesn't matter uh, i'll just search my channel 
please subscribe to my channel uh, although i'm telling you in between the video but please subscribe to my channel to stay connected i'll be posting important videos that that might help you so subscription is free so there is no issue so now we'll go back to and you can see that there is a history so you'll be able to track your history as well as clear it so that's a cool feature which was not there in previous bypasses but in this one it has i will tell you about more the adva more advantages of this uh, portal i'll just go to a random site directly so what i want to tell you is that this one looks uh, the uh, user interface has been changed and it looks good so uh, i'll just clear the history once again so so that's a cool feature of it and one more cool feature i would like to tell you that thing that i've logged this device now it should take me to the same page where i left off that's a very big advantage of this portal so that's a good thing we don't need to enter again and everything and go through all the steps so we uh, we can keep the device logged and use it just like a normal device yeah i know there are some restrictions uh, to this but still it's uh, it's uh, only for good there's no problem in this so you can go to gmail and etc you can um, so it looks like a complete unlocked device because it hides away the top bar let's go to maps okay looks good you can go through use it and let me know and give me your feedback how you liked it or you didn't like it just uh, uh, comment down and i will take your feedback and if you have any issues in this if you face any issues kindly let me know i will make another video if possible to demonstrate even more if possible whatever needed so thank you for watching and please like the video and subscribe to my channel it's completely free and hope you have a good day